Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video, and we're going to do a comparison of Pixel Experience Plus Edition on the right and the normal edition on the left. Of course, both of these devices are running the same security patch, which is November 2022. Android version is 13, and these here are the official builds. And without any further delay, let us get down to business. So let us start off with the launcher now both of these come with pixel launcher out of the box you can see select and screenshot at the bottom next thing let us check out is your power menu so as you can see on the plus edition you do have some additional options for the power menu and we will talk more about that later in this video then we can check out the volume panel so again you can see the difference the plus edition has this fancy looking volume panel whereas on the normal edition you have the normal pixel style volume panel then we can have a look at your quick settings so here it is this is your quick settings panel and you will notice that most of the tiles are the same but if you go into the edit option you will start to see the differences here it is you can see that the plus edition has additional tiles of wi-fi and mobile data which are absent in your normal edition then you also have other tiles like caffeine reading mode vpn usb tethering sync heads up notifications so all these tiles are present only in the pixel experience plus edition based on android 13. next up we can head over to settings now in settings the main settings page is exactly the same if you scroll through the settings you will notice that the search on top gets pinned if you go into network and internet all the options are the same however something different which i noticed is that on the plus edition certain options like mobile plan private dns and adaptive connectivity have these icons which are present on the normal edition however i see no reason for them to be absent in the normal edition i think it's just a mess from the developers then if you go into connected devices again exactly the same the same applies for your applications as well and default apps across both the normal and the plus edition are the same if you go into notifications same options app settings notification history priority conversations bubbles this toggle of sensitive notifications will appear once you set up a pen on your device and on the normal edition i do not have a pin or password setup the only extra option which you will see in the plus edition is your heads up toggle which is absent in the normal edition next up let us jump over to the battery section now herein you will notice that one of the devices has thermal profiles the plus version mentions optimization profiles but these are your per app thermal profiles present in both of them battery usage is going to show you the battery usage for the last 24 hours now i'm not sure why the plus edition has this additional toggle of view usage for the past 24 hours then you have battery saver and extreme battery saver present in both the devices along with adaptive battery and before you tell me hey manchi where is the battery percentage toggle in the plus edition so that is somewhere else we'll talk about that later in the video and the option of turn on the light when charging is present across both the normal and the plus edition just that the device on the right has a led light over here the device on the left does not have that led light nothing much to talk about in storage and next up we can jump into sound and vibration now here and you will notice that the plus edition has the extra option of linking and unlinking your ring and notification volume 
then it also has increasing ring volume along with your start volume and the ramp up time do not disturb is same across both the builds and of course on both the normal and plus edition you can have different ringtones for your different sim cards live caption and adaptive sound is also present in both the builds now the plus edition gets an extra feature called smart pause so wherein as soon as the volume is reduced to zero if you're playing a piece of music that is going to pause and then you can select this timeout and if you increase the volume within this specific timeout the media playback will resume from that specific point then you also have the option of media present in both the devices and then we can jump over to vibration and haptics here it is you can see that all the options are exactly the same and the same thing applies for your shortcut to prevent ringing your default notification sound the alarm sound your tones for your dial pad screen locking sound charging sound and vibration touch sounds but you get per app volume control in the plus edition so here and you will have per app volume control for all the media playback applications and you also have vibrate to indicate call status i'm not sure why the option of always show icon in vibrate mode is missing from plus edition in my humble opinion it should be there and your me sound enhancer and clear speaker these are me ui device features and again i'm not sure why it is missing in the normal edition next up we will go into the display settings to see what is same and what is different so of course brightness level adaptive brightness let us jump over to lock screen so here in of course you have face unlock present in both the normal and the plus edition and the features are exactly the same which is to skip the lock screen in case you want to if you want an text on your lock screen you have the option for that across both the builds the plus edition has the extra option of displaying your media cover art which is absent in the normal edition then you have your show wallet show device controls and control from locked device and you can also get rid of the ugly double line clock in android in case you want to now wake screen for new notifications is present in the plus edition but i think here in this is the amoled device which is your normal edition so you do have your always on display customization over here then screen timeout exactly the same over here dark theme is present on both screen saver same ui same options nothing different and the same applies for your display size and text night light is exactly the same now the plus edition has an additional option of live display which is not present in the normal edition so here you have your reading mode and you can also configure your rgbs using these sliders in case you do not like your setup you always have the option of reset then we can head over to the colors option so that option is same across both the devices nothing different over here natural boosted saturated and adaptive i think is present on this one because this here is amoled panel and if the plus edition with amoled panel will also have the adaptive feature then you have auto rotate screen now here and you will notice that the plus edition has the extra option of configuring your rotation modes once you enable this so you have 0 90 180 and 270 which is absent in the normal edition then you have your minimum and maximum refresh rate double tap to wake double tap to sleep the plus edition has the additional feature of wake on plug and here are the ambient display settings so you have pickup raise to wave hand wave and pocket and again i'm not sure why the high touch polling rate option is missing in the plus edition nothing much to talk about in wallpaper and style all the options and features are exactly the same then for your security we already discussed that both the normal and the plus edition have face unlock and again exactly the same features if you go into the option of Google you will notice that 
game dashboard is present on both the normal and the plus edition and then we can jump over to system go into languages and input herein both of them have per app language control in app languages and live translate is also present across both the normal and the plus edition let us go into gestures so quick tap to start actions present in both the builds quickly open camera present in both the builds system navigation you have your gestures you have your two button and your three button let us go into the settings for three button exactly the same settings for two button exactly the same let us go into settings for your gestures now here and you will notice that the plus edition has your edge long swipe action and it also has the option of hiding the gesture bar at the bottom by using this toggle then you have swipe to invoke assistant present in both the builds the sensitivity however edge touch area is an extra option which is present only in the plus edition then you have one handed mode present in both the builds press and hold power button you can use it for assistant but for the plus edition you can also use it for advanced restart and this is where you can configure your advanced restart menu shortcut options as well the other option of hold for assistant and press and hold duration is same across both then for the plus edition you also have your three finger screenshot working like a boss without any issues and you also have quick torch so here and when the screen is off long pressing the power button will enable the torch and you can also configure after how many minutes you want to turn the torch off automatically prevent ringing option is the same next up you will notice that the options of buttons and status bar are present only in the plus edition your options of system update rules multiple users reset options are present in both the builds so let us jump over to buttons now here and you have your system navigation we already saw all these options and you also have edge swipe long action and customization for pressing and holding the power button then if you want to end the current call with the power button you have a toggle for that as well and quick torch we already discussed this then you have customization for your volume buttons do you want to use it to wake your device do you want to use them to answer a call do you want to use them to control playback and do you want to use them for keyboard cursor control then you have a toggle to reorient the volume buttons when the screen is rotated and you can also use a short click of volume down and power to take a partial screenshot so partial screenshot is present in the plus edition then you have customization for your status bar you have your network traffic monitor then what all icons you want to see in your status bar tap to sleep so this is your double tap to sleep on the status bar or lock screen to turn off the display then you can customize the clock position do you want it left right or center do you want to see the seconds what is the am pm style you're looking for and here is the customization of your battery percentage in the plus edition so here it is your battery status style icon portrait circle or text and then if you are using icon portrait or circle you can customize where do you want the battery percentage do you want it hidden do you want it inside the icon or do you want it next to the icon then you also have the option of adjusting the brightness from your quick settings so here it is this is the option which i think is present in both the normal and the plus edition but with the plus edition you get the toggle to turn this off in case you want to do that and you also have a toggle for auto brightness which you can enable or disable and if you want your brightness to be adjusted by sliding across the status bar you can do that as well once you enable this toggle and the last option here is your quick pull down so if i set it to right so right hand side expanded and pull down from the left not expanded so yes the option is working without any issues and there it is peeps that is the difference between the pixel experience plus edition and the normal edition builds based on android 13.